I am beautiful. I am worthy. I am fertile. My fertility goddess. Hello, beautiful fertility goddess. Welcome to your yes or no fertility edition reading. This is going to be hopefully not too very, too very, hopefully not very long or too long. Um, I wanted to recreate a reading that I did a long time ago. I think it's been like a year now, a year ago. Um, there was a goddess who commented on it and I was already thinking about recreating it and then I was like, oh my gosh, this is confirmation to do so. So here we are. You guys may know which video I'm talking about. I used Uno cards in that reading and don't knock the Uno cards, okay, because they were amazing and I still have that deck. I might have to bring it out <laughs> for us in another read, but right now I feel called to use my Unicorn Tarot. So we are going to do yes or no answers. So what I want you to do um, is take a deep breath in through your nose and then exhale out of your mouth and do it as many, as many times as you feel you need to to calm your energy. And then I want you to ask your question. It can be out loud. It can be just inside. Okay. Um, and I want you to feel whichever pile okay, is drawing you in. Now, what I suggested in the last video and what I'm also suggesting this time is that you choose odd numbers of cards, okay? So we have eight cards here. So you can choose one, you can choose three, you can choose five, you can choose seven. I don't recommend that, um, definitely. I actually recommend one or three. Um, and then the majority rules, okay? So if you choose one card for your yes or no answer to whatever question you're asking spirit at this time, um, then, that is the answer. If you choose three, then of course the two no's or the two yeses will overrule whatever it may be and that'll be the answer. So this is yes or no and why. Why? Because we always wanna know why, right? We always have that question. So what I have here are eight cards that I want you to choose from. All of the piles, our timestamps are listed down below. And then I have my Angel Oracle deck here that I'm going to be using to clarify if I feel like I need to pull a definite yes or no answer that I'm not getting from here. Um, and then I also have my Road to Pregnancy, which is my newest Oracle deck that I'll be using for the why, okay? Because this is Fertility Edition. So um, these are fertility-based questions. Okay, there could be some other answers that come through, but I'm really looking for more so um, things that may, or answers that may revolve around your fertility journey, okay? If you have not yet joined our Baby Death Goddess community, then definitely hit that join button, subscribe, and then join, of course. There are so many perks that you can see down below in the description box. It's only $6.99 a month, and you have the option of getting a free personal reading from me. At this time, I think we have one goddess that is in our community, so if no one else joins before the end of April, she's guaranteed to get that free reading this month, okay? It's that easy. Um, and then there are some other perks and some things that I'm going to be putting in the community as we grow um, that you're it's just they're just groundbreaking so you don't want to miss out <laughs> so anyways let's get into our reading okay so click the time steps down below for whichever pile of your choosing and I will see you in your pile or piles Hello, beautiful fertility goddess. Okay, so you must have chose pile number one because here you are. If you chose this first card here, okay, this is going to be the answer to your question. If you skip the intro, I want you to take a deep breath in through your nose and exhale out of your mouth and do that as many times as you have to. You can pause this video and come back when you um, are feel ready, okay? Ask your question, ask spirit your question. Um, it can be internally or externally, okay? Um, and let's see what your answer is let's see what your answer is spirit what is the answer for pile number one for my goddesses who choose pile number one and they ask you a question what is their answer here spirit yes or no we have a no for pile number one we have five of swords which is showing me that there's some sort of disagreement um there could also be it's interesting i felt the there is a message around um selfishness or um something about um greed okay that's really weird but there's something about like i'm hearing winner takes all okay um and this could be like you trying to do wanting to do all the things okay i feel like spirit is asking you to pick and choose your battles okay because 
this is like nobody's gonna be happy okay what whoever this is it maybe there's a compromise that needs to happen or something of that nature here I want to see we're gonna pull an angel Wow compromise okay so absolutely the first card here is compromise um, so that is definitely what spirit is saying there's a compromise that's necessary when it comes to your um, surrounding your answer and that's why it's a no okay I feel like um, I don't want to say that this is a negative thing because sometimes you can ask the question like if you know a b and c going to happen and spirit's like no because you guys will be compromising so there's going to be balance right or it could be in regards to you know um it could seem negative and spirit is like hey but if you compromise then it'll be positive okay so i hope that makes sense there for you um in either direction it may mean okay or go for you let's see here what your road to pregnancy answer is come to an agreement oh my gosh okay coming to an agreement so spirit is definitely um being redundant here when it comes when they come to their when they're talking about their message okay surrounding compromising and coming to an agreement okay we have on the bottom of the deck looking into other options of parenthood so it could be surrounding that maybe there's some disagreement when it comes to your the actions you want to take in your fertility journey or how you plan on conceiving or how you plan on moving towards parenthood um or even just surrounding rules okay parenting okay but there's something here that spirit is asking you um to compromise when it comes to or come to an agreement on when it comes to your fertility journey okay so as of right now i'm seeing this is a no but balance does bring progress and balance does bring harmony okay all right Kyle number one let me know if that resonates or if you need some kind of clarity here um and hopefully if the, the answer could have just been no for whatever question you asked. And then Spirit is like giving you additional guidance for your fertility journey at this time. So take it as it resonates because it is a collective message. Okay. All right. I'll see you in your next one. Or if this was your answer and you're done, then I'll see you in the next reading. Bye. Hello, beautiful fertility goddess. If you chose pile number two, then this is indeed your reading. You are in the right space. If you chose this card right here, okay card right here i kind of want to use something else maybe i'll use my selenite wand why not okay it's a point so pile number two is right here um our card number two now i want you to take a deep breath in through your nose out through your mouth if you skip the intro that is what i want you to do to release any tension in your body and ask your question to spirit okay we're gonna get a yes or no answer and i'll pull an angel oracle message if I want some clarity surrounding this. Um, now, you could also be receiving some advice right now for your fertility journey because we are going to be looking at the road to pregnancy oracle deck to see what's next or what your advice is surrounding your yes or no answer, okay? Or it could just be strictly yes or no. Please take it as it resonates, okay? So let's see here, Spirit, when it comes to pile number two, my goddesses who chose pile number two, what is their answer to their question that they are asking you at this time, Spirit? Is it a yes or is it a no? Thank you for clarity, Spirit. So I'm seeing here that it is a no. Okay, so we have the Eight of Cups, which is showing me that you're moving away from something that, you know, Spirit is, okay. It's, I see here that you are moving away from something that is no longer serving you. If you're looking for a definite yes or no answer, I'm seeing no. Okay, um, for the message that's coming through here with the Eight of Cups, I do feel like you're moving away from happiness. So although at this time there could be something that feels like you may be feeling a little down about something or you could have been in a very emotional time, you are heading in a new direction. Even if you cannot see clearly at this time that you're heading to your ninth cup, you're heading to your wish fulfillment, you are indeed, okay? But there are some things that you have to leave behind. Spirit is like everybody and everything can't go, okay? And you're coming to this realization at this time and you're letting things go. We have here opportunity absolutely okay so there's an opportunity that is going to be a pro are you are approaching are you're heading towards at this time um are after letting go of whatever this may be here okay spirit is like it's time for you to lighten the load so you can embrace this opportunity once again you're heading towards your yes answer okay or you're heading towards your wish fulfillment i want to see what other message we have coming through here for you Okay, when it comes to 
the girl to pregnancy oracle we have focusing on nutrition okay so there's something about nutrients here okay so this could be surrounding your nutrition the advice message is coming through here could be surrounding your nutrition okay or the answer could be no because there is some sort of like i'm hearing meat and potatoes okay <laughs> um and i feel like there's something about like the bulk of the experience the bulk of the um whatever it may be right if, if it's your food then it's the majority of the food that you're eating at this time maybe you are changing and shifting things up letting go of certain things that are no longer serving you that are not providing you with um the greatest health or the greatest amount of energy and because you're doing that you are opening up a brand new avenue for an opportunity for conception an opportunity to feel amazing feeling light feeling you know less bloated less gassy having a balanced you know um balancing your hormones or whatever it may be here that's if it's in terms of nutrition but i'm just hearing the meat and potatoes um and that can be in regards to like the the foundation what's needed okay the bulk of something okay coming into balance for um because you're walking away from something else okay and that leading to an opportunity so um i feel like you're getting things to things are coming together but you're also like getting it together at this time, okay? Spirit's like you're getting it together, okay? Or focus on getting it together. Um, focus on what is necessary at this time. Um, simplifying things as well, okay? To bring in balance is what I'm hearing for pile number two. So that is what I have for you, goddess, okay? I do have a, in terms of yes or no, I'm seeing no, but I feel like there is a beautiful opportunity that is coming your way, um, and it is happening after you let something go, after you surrender something, okay? So that is what I have for you. Let me know if you have any questions about this yes or no and why, okay? Um, why it may be yes or no. And I will go ahead and give you some clarity on it. Just let me know in the comment section. Um, but I hope that that was clear for you. I hope that you got the answer that you were looking for or the answer that you were um, hoping for, okay? Um, and yeah, <laughs> I'll see you in your next pick or I will see you in my next reading. Bye. Hello, beautiful fertility goddess. Welcome to your card selection. If you chose card, I want to say pile. If you chose card number three, then this is indeed your reading. If you skip the intro, I want you to take a deep breath in through your nose and exhale out of your mouth. And I want you to ask your question to spirit, okay? I'm connecting with your energy at this time and I'm going to ask spirit what your answer is. Is it a yes or is it a no? Thank you, spirit, for clarity, okay, surrounding this beautiful goddess's answer okay let's see here for card number three yes or no what is their answer we have a no okay with the five of cups i am seeing a no here this is actually showing me i feel like there's an opportunity coming your way interesting enough i feel like there is um actually double opportunity okay um something that you can't see at this time because you're too focused on what's not going right um and spirit is like if you just turn around if you just actually Actually, I feel like you have the keys okay I feel like you have the answers or the answers are there and maybe you just have to take like one or two steps towards it to kind of see it what spirit is showing me is like a um, like a what what is that thing called like a, a, a scene an ice a, what is it called a scene eye chart I mean go to the optum optima I can't even speak the eye doctor <laughs> and like the how the numbers are the letters and the numbers are super tiny at the bottom and like there's literally like one step between you being able to see that and you not and it is glasses right like it's literally like you just need one tool to be able to access you know grant yourself access to seeing those little tiny numbers and those are glasses right and sometimes in order to get those glasses there are certain steps you have to take you have to call the, the doctor schedule and the appointment right and you have to go to the appointment um and so i feel like there's a couple of steps here spirit is saying that um you may need to take or that you will be taking very soon that's going to lead you to a um, beautiful new beginning and beautiful new opportunities here but right now you're kind of in your emotions okay um also surrounding the yes or no answer there is i feel like the answer is no because there is an overload of emotions right now surrounding whatever this question is and so maybe right now the answer is no but it won't be for long okay let's see what we have here 
recovery. Yeah, you are definitely healing from whatever this is. You're definitely in the space of recovery right now. And I'm going to pull a card here from the Rose of Pregnancy Oracle deck, okay? Um, we have focusing on fitness, okay? So I feel like Spirit is also asking you to do some yoga, okay? Um, or to focus on I also feel like, you know, with fitness, it's kind of giving me the energy of like taking action, okay? There are certain action steps that you can take while you are patiently waiting. We have patiently waiting here. Um, and so I am hearing that as well. Um, I'm hearing also with the procedure card below that, I feel like there's something about a strategy here. Um, our things are happening in a specific order, procedure, like a procedure is like, you know, step by step. I feel like Spirit is asking you to take things step by step, okay? And focus on the things that you can do right now. Also with focusing on fitness, like I said, I do feel like there's something about yoga or Pilates or doing some sort of physical fitness activity that is going to lead you to um, like clearing or not clearing, but freeing your mind, even if it's just for a second, like spirit is like, just do this just for me, <laughs> just do this for me and do it for you. Okay. So that we can, um, have a, just a second of letting go of this, um, these emotions are just not thinking about whatever it is that you're thinking about at this time. Okay. So I am saying that for you, my beautiful goddess who chose pile number three, our card number three. Um, if you were drawn to any other cards, okay, or if you are at this time, feel free to click down below at the timestamps and see what the yes or no answer will be. And if you choose more than one, I suggest you choose three. That way you get um, double of either no's or double of yeses. Um, and that way you can kind of see what your answer may be, okay? Um, yeah, so that's what I have for you. If you feel called to any others, I'll see you in the next pile. If this was your only pile or your last pile, then I will see you in my next video. Bye. Hello, beautiful fertility goddess. If you chose card number four, which is this card right here, okay, then this is your pile indeed, or your card indeed. We're going to be getting a yes or no answer to a question that I want you to ask the spirit at this time. This is a fertility edition, so I will be giving you a definite yes or no answer. Excuse me. And I will also be giving you um, messages and guidance surrounding your fertility journey or what could be going on right now or whatever spirit wants you to hear at this time okay so what I'm seeing here okay um, um what I'm seeing um what I am hearing here okay is that for this card for whoever chose card number four you may want to pick um, two other cards as well okay because this may just be part of your answer or part of your story okay um, now for card number four take a deep breath in through your nose and exhale out of your mouth and ask spirit your question thank you spirit for providing me with clarity when it comes to my goddess who is choosing power number four at this time and their question is their answer a yes or a no thank you spirit we have a no okay with the four of swords i do feel like this could potentially be a no okay um let's see what we have here wait wow so we have a lot of resting energy surrounding you at this time or a lot of um pause reflection you may be taking a break at this time from fertility or you could be waiting for some answers or waiting for um, a breakthrough at this time but I do feel like the answer is no I kind of feel like for some the answer may be maybe and I feel like that's why spirit is saying here um, to choose two other ones and then choose from those two okay like if you get maybe um, if you get like two no's right because I feel no for some and then maybe then if you get like a no and a yes then I would go with no just because I'm feeling no as well for this file but if you get like a um, a double yes okay then I would go with yes for sure okay um, but I definitely feel like there's there's something that is there could be a delay right now or a blockage or something between getting your answer or whatever wherever you are and receiving your answer maybe you're just in you could even be in your two week wait okay um and so spirit is not giving me the answer of yes or no especially if you're asking if you're pregnant um because spirit wants you to wait okay and i cannot overrule i cannot overrule spirit okay <laughs> so let's see what this card is here okay feeling lost Okay, so you could be, um, like I said, taking a break because you are feeling lost 
and we have counseling on the bottom of the deck oh my gosh and taking a break oh my goodness i love how this is aligning um so you could be feeling lost at this time um and spirit is advising you to reach out to someone who can help you whether this is a friend who you can talk to who's just going to listen or they're going to give you some sort of advice or this could be a professional a medical professional or a um psychiatrist or a fertility um like specialist who um who this could even be someone who who's going to be able to support you um emotionally okay i did say mentally already but this could feel this feels like it could be even someone that is um like specializes in like miscarriage or loss or infertility like i feel like this is someone who is going to be able to support you very deeply okay so um spirit is like if you are feeling overwhelmed if you are mentally feeling just exhausted okay take a break okay and reach out to someone to speak to okay um so that is what i have for you pile number three but like i said four i'm sorry pile number four but i feel like this is this is part of your story i don't feel like this is the end and i also don't feel like this is a definite answer for you because there's some sort of like i said delay okay and i feel like this is surrounding your mental health um or in your emotional health here okay so let's see what the other messages are for you if you already chose two messages before then definitely take what those other two were or choose a fourth card if you're trying to battle out a yes or a no answer okay you could also do that so um intuitively feel how you feel about it and then um every of course answer is going to be different and every feeling is going to be different for everyone because this is a collective reading um but that's what i got for you so i'll see you in the next pile or if this was your last answer then i'll see you in the next reading bye hello beautiful fertility goddess if you chose pile or card number five which is this card right here okay then this is indeed your reading i want you to take a deep breath at this time and i want you to um inhale through your nose and exhale out of your mouth release any stagnant energy that may be within your body at this time move your head around a little bit and i want you to ask spirit a question and this is a yes or no question okay and we're going to be giving you a, a yes or no answer um and i'm asking spirit for a definitive answer spirit please thank you so much yes or no for my goddess who chose card number five they are looking for an answer and here it is i will also be pulling a angel answer card for you as well as a road to pregnancy card so let's see here what your answer is for pile number five okay we have the seven of cups and honestly i feel like this is a maybe card but for some reason i felt yes energy okay i felt excitement around this card when i when i um I felt excitement okay i felt excitement around this card when i picked it up and even though this is a card of like it can represent illusion or living in the imaginary space okay it can represent like it's a possibility but you have to make a decision okay you have so many options so you're kind of in limbo um i feel like this the yes is like for someone who recently made a decision maybe or maybe you are thinking of um feeling intuitively nudged to go a specific way and so if your question is surrounding that then i feel like it's a definite yes if not i feel like spirit is saying there's some there's a decision that you have to make first okay before you get a definite answer but i felt very optimistic about this so i'm leaning more towards your definite answer being yes than anything okay yes or maybe <laughs> but i'm leaning towards yes here success okay absolutely this is why i felt excitement yes the answer is yes okay um and i feel like that just like clarified everything for me because i felt this energy of excitement when i flipped over the card like oh my gosh yes <laughs> so there's definitely some success here um coming through for you guys number five okay card number five so i'm gonna go back with um i'm gonna go back to yes for your definite answer but what I'm also seeing as your message here, okay, you could it could be yes because you recently made a decision, okay, or you, you're getting out of your head. Yep, we have letting go on the bottom of the deck. You're letting go of some um, illusionary viewpoint or something, and you're stepping into the space of um, deciding to either walk away from something that is no longer serving you, like you're leaving other you're leaving other people or other things, emotions, feelings thoughts 
behind so that you can continue to move forward with what feels most aligned um, for you. Now the card that flew out here is new direction and new focus. Absolutely. That's absolutely what I'm seeing here. Wow. I love how these cards, this is my new deck by the way, guys. And, and this is the, I think I've used this deck a handful of times now, maybe four. This might be my fourth time using this deck in a reading. Um, this is my second time using it in a full reading like this. First time for my YouTube community, like just out in the open. I do have my very first reading for members only if you want to join our Baby Dust community um, where the Baby Dust is endless and so are the positive vibes, okay? Um, but this is so, I love it. I just love how this deck aligns with your message here. You're definitely headed in a new direction. You definitely have a new focus here. Um, for those of you guys who are in limbo right now, who may be stuck on a decision, go with what your gut is telling you. Go with what feels aligned to your soul and you are destined to lead towards success and move towards success. You're destined to be successful, okay? It's just, it's just going to happen. It doesn't, don't overthink the decision. Don't overthink what it is that you need to do and how you need to move forward, okay? Just, you're just destined to be successful here. So um, for those of you guys who recently made a decision, you're heading towards success. Um, and those of you guys looking for a yes or no answer, the answer is yes okay but don't carry baggage around that doesn't need exactly that doesn't need to be carried because look at this new opportunity okay you're heading into a new space here okay away from negative we have negative pregnancy tests but this feels like it's you're moving away from negative energy okay you're moving away from negative energy and into a new opportunity um and because you're letting things go that have just been like like gotcha okay like things that have been fooling you at this time okay things you thought were good for you but weren't um so don't overthink it goddess just let go let it go okay <laughs> all right goddess that's what, that is what i have for you at this time um if you feel called to any other cards go ahead and choose the card from the timestamps down below um if this was your last message or this was your only message then thank you so much for being here and i will see you in my next reading Bye. Hello, beautiful fertility goddess. Welcome to your card. If you chose card number six, which is this card right here, then this is your reading indeed. If you skip the intro, I was asking everyone to take a deep breath in through their nose and exhale out of their mouth. So in through your nose and out through your mouth. And I want you to just kind of wiggle out any stagnant energy that may be in your body at this time. Move your head around, relax your shoulders, and ask spirit your question. Okay, ask your question to spirit. Hmm. And we're gonna get a definite yes or no answer for you right now, right here. Thank you spirit for clarity thank you for this guidance that my beautiful goddess is looking for by choosing card number six to their question we're also going to get the message of why okay or just some advice for your fertility journey okay so let's see here your answer is oh this is a little tricky here we have the death card okay which i kind of feel like I want to say yes with this card. That is so funny. Let's pull this card. This is a definite yes or no here. Unlikely. Okay, so it's a no. <laughs> it's a no. Okay, so why is it a no spirit? I feel like there is this message here surrounding the reason why I want to say yes. Okay, first of all, this is a typically I believe a no card, but I felt this very transformative energy here. Okay. And so I felt like I wanted to say yes, because I felt like there was this energy of transformation. Um, the death card is, well, there is, because the death card does represent a huge transformation. Like when you think of the energy of death, right? Endings, it is end all, right? Like we know like spiritually, it's not end all. But whenever the death, like if, uh, I wish I had the Rider Waite Tarot here, but like on the Rider Waite Tarot, the typical card, like you have people pleading at um, death's door for them not to be taken because they know that it doesn't matter your status. It doesn't matter if you're poor, you're rich. It doesn't matter. 
death is going to come through and make these transformations happen. It doesn't matter what you look like, what you said, what you pay. It does not matter. These transformations are happening, okay? So the answer is no for yes or no, like a definite yes or no answer. We have unlikely here, okay? Um, but what I do feel, God, is, is that you are heading in this into this, this space of a beautiful transformation at this time, okay? Prepare for your fertility journey to transform in the, the utmost, like, positive way is what I feel here, okay? It may not feel like it at this time because you are in this space of, like, not being able to see clearly because of this Trent, because of this death energy that is surrounding you, you may be feeling very emotional. Yep, you're in this waiting game here. We have patiently waiting. You're in this waiting game, okay? You're like, what's happening in my journey? What is going on? I, You know, you may be taking action and not seeing the results, or you may be planting seeds and not having the time to nurture them, right? Like you thought you would. Uh, maybe you have ideas and you don't have the time to implement them because financial issues or you know there's just certain things that just don't seem like they follow through for you so you're in this waiting period here but i feel like you're getting ready to experience a breakthrough or there's definitely some sort of um like the sun is coming up here okay the sun is coming up again for you but you you had to go through this transformative period right now in order for the sun to come up the, the sun had to go down first before it could come back up again okay so definitely seeing that here okay the rain had to come through come down before the rainbow could show up right so it's like it's like that energy but let's see what else we have here disappointment yeah so the answer is definitely a no for whatever question you asked here okay um it's definitely a no but there are huge transformations that are coming into your path that for some of you guys, it's going to change this answer into a yes, especially if the yes would have been positive for you, if it would have been um, focusing, surrounding like alignments. We have coming to an agreement, which is showing me the energy of alignment here. So definitely I see that you are stepping into this space of alignment, okay? But there's some things that have to go. There's some things that have to end, okay? you And in this space here, it's almost as if spirit is like, I'm patiently waiting. Like spirit could be patiently waiting for you to take these, you know, embrace this change embrace these shifts okay this is rebirth energy this is death and rebirth okay this is complete endings going into starting a new beginning here for some of you guys this may be from surrounding your nutrition our eating habits here we have focusing on nutrition um and that may actually help clear up some things okay for you um eating different okay eating healthier or changing your eating habits drinking more water helping you see because that just like you you think clearer you have more energy there's so many different things your body comes into a balance there's so many different things that can occur when you change your eating habits especially if you have like um like pcos or you have other things going on with your body and that your body really needs it or it's craving it so um don't like don't ignore those those signs don't ignore what it is that you you feel like you need to do six is actually the number of balance so there's definitely spirit letting me know like there's some balance and some some alignment here that needs to happen i feel or that will be happening very soon spirit is asking you to hold on to your faith goddess okay hold on to your faith um and why not throw in a little bit of fitness here okay <laughs> throw in a little fitness there so we have nutrition we have fitness and we have getting to the root cause okay so we are definitely getting down to the root here and that's what that transformation transformative energy is okay so spirit is saying if you are if you have been making eating changing your eating habits or if you have been focusing on your fitness lately um if you have been you know getting to the root of a situation know that that transformation that breakthrough is going to be coming very soon for you here you may be feeling disappointed or frustrated or waiting for results and it may seem like a long process here but know that it's going to be worth it okay so that is the advice that i have for you goddess okay that is why i'm seeing this answer is a no as well um let me know if you have any questions about this if it didn't make sense definitely pick another card and then kind of put the messages together choose what you feel resonates with you this is a collective message um but definitely i'm seeing a no surrounding the yes or no answer um if you want to choose more than one card i suggest doing odd numbers so one card three cards or five cards um and that way you can kind of get the majority rules uh two yeses and one no means it's a yes okay two no's and one yes means it's a no so 
that's what I have. Um, I am sending you so much love, light, and of course, baby dust. And if you want to choose another card, I'll see you in the next pile. Hello, beautiful fertility goddess. If you chose card number seven, okay, which is this card right here, then this is indeed your pile, okay, or your card. <laughs> so I want you to take a deep breath in through your nose and exhale out of your mouth. And I want you to ask spirit your question. It can be out loud or it can be in your mind. Um, and I want you to ask spirit for clarity at this time, a definitive yes or no answer, okay? I will also be getting some advice for this card. So the advice may resonate with your journey. It may not. This is for a collective of goddesses. So everything may not resonate with everybody. So please take what resonate, resonates and leave the rest. Okay, so let's see what we have here when it comes to um, your yes or no answer. Thank you, Spirit, for clarity. For card number seven, all of my goddesses who chose card number seven, is this a yes or a no answer when it comes to their question? The judgment card. So I am seeing yes here, okay? Um, there is definitely an awakening that's happening at this time or you're receiving some sort of results. There may be some good news coming in. For some of you guys, the number 20 is significant. It could be the 20th of a month, okay? That is significant. You could be born on the 20th. You may be testing positive on the 20th or 20 is significant for some other reason. It could be 20 years old. But Spirit is showing me that number. Okay, we have forgiveness here. Wow. So that is such a powerful, energy okay I feel here um, and so it feels very angelic it feels so aligned here with the judgment energy your angels are definitely supporting you at this time um, the reason why your answer is yes is because you're highly supported it's because you are highly protected it is because you have been doing the right things is what I'm hearing you have been healing different areas of your life um, you have been forgiving those that have done you wrong you have been forgiving yourself you have been forgiving your journey okay you may have felt like your journey did you wrong or maybe things are not going in the way that you would have liked and you've been letting go releasing and healing and providing love okay some of you guys have also been connecting with your heart chakra you have been doing heart chakra meditations you've been wearing green okay you've been listening to your intuition connecting with your higher self there's definitely a lot of spiritual energy some of you guys are on a spiritual journey okay there's a lot that's coming through for this card here um but what i feel is that you are doing what you are called to do and that is why you this answer is yes okay there's a lot of healing energy here now i want to see we're going to pull a message when it comes to the road to pregnancy oracle death let's see if your message is here for your pile your message of advice at this time in relation to your card we have new direction new focus yeah you chose to forgive i'm hearing turn a yes yes oh yes i love it okay so you chose to forgive you chose to i heard turn a what is it like have a blind eye towards something okay it's like you forgave you you've been working with your heart chakra um you've been healing emotionally um, but you no longer are holding a grudge around a situation or surrounding a person. And because of that, you are stepping into this new energy and this new energy, this new focus is you. Okay. Like you are focusing on you. And because of that, we have news and results. Okay. News and results. Like I said, there's some good news that's coming your way. Okay. We have focus on fit, focusing on fitness. Okay. So you could have been focusing on taking a lot of action recently. Um, fitness is like, to me, it's like go, go, go energy, right? Um, taking action. But you could have also been doing things that, um, that involve your physical body. Like you could, of course, um, have been changing some things when it comes to your nutrition, but also you may have been doing some meditations lately, um, or meditating more, maybe doing yoga, or just taking some time for yourself. This feels like you're, you've been taking time for yourself, giving yourself that, um, it's like I'm hearing benefit of the doubt or giving yourself those boundaries that were necessary for you to be in your own energy, okay? Um, and, and cut out the outside noise. And we also have keeping faith, okay? Which is showing me that there is a definite strong divine connection here, okay? With the keeping faith message, okay? Um, so I definitely see here, goddess, okay? As far as your yes or no answer, I see a definite 
yes okay and as far as your message of guidance from spirit okay surrounding your fertility journey i am hearing the message to keep doing you keep focusing on you keep giving yourself those boundaries okay meditating listening to your heart chakra and allowing your intuition and your heart to lead you okay through this journey okay keep moving forward with there's a lot of giving energy you're in your divine feminine energy um so keep staying focused on you and that divine feminine energy as well okay all right got it so if you feel called to select another pile then go ahead our card go ahead and select another one i recommend selecting um at least three okay our one three or five okay an odd number that way you have more yeses or nos than the other and that'll be of course your definite yes or no answer but if this was your one and only or your last one i am seeing a yes here for you okay and i'm seeing a beautiful spiritual um journey up ahead a beautiful spiritual connection not only with the divine but with the self that's coming through here for you okay um so keep on holding on to faith goddess okay as you move forward and keep on connecting with self all right i'm sending you so much love light and of course baby dust and i'll see you in my next reading bye all righty my beautiful and abundant goddesses who chose pile our card number eight we are here at your reading. You are my last message for this yes or no, but it doesn't mean you're seeing this last. You could be seeing this first. Um, so if you skipped the intro, I definitely advise you to choose either one, three, or five cards so you can get a definite yes or no answer. Majority rules, of course. Um, so if you get two yeses and one no, the answer is yes from spirit. Um, but I want you to do, or what I want you to do at this time to take a deep breath in through your nose and exhale out of your mouth. Relax your shoulders and ask your question to spirit with no um, attachment. I'm hearing ask this question free of any attachment to any outcome that you are looking for. Just ask the universe, just put it out there. Okay, and let's see what we get. Okay, this is a yes or no question. Um, and I'm asking spirit right now for clarity surrounding your answer, your yes or no answer for card number eight, okay, which is this card right here, okay? So let's see here what we have for your yes or no answer. We have the Queen of Pentacles. This is a yes, okay? And it's interesting how I said my abundant goddesses, and we have the Queen of Pentacles who is definitely the abundant goddess, okay? She is all about that earth, that material, okay? focusing on her either her finances or her um her body her health okay um the material world of nature surrounding her the beauty that is surrounding her okay she's a very nurturing okay so these are some energies that you may have recently been embodying you could be an earth sign as well okay virgo capricorn or taurus which i have not picked up on any signs for any other pile so that could be relevant for you but as far as your yes or no i am seeing a yes we have wow perfect timing so that is definitely confirming yes here for me okay <laughs> or for you <laughs> um so absolutely is your answer absolutely this is the perfect time for whatever it is things that have aligned okay some of you guys i'm seeing a double rainbow rainbows may be your sign that you see or even bunnies okay springtime bunnies okay this is a very fertile time for you if you're asking about fertility are you you know anything surrounding um fertility pregnancy i feel like this is a very fertile time for you and a very prosperous and abundant time for you your the seeds that you have planted in the past are now sprouting they're blooming i'm feeling that spring energy some of you guys will may see rainbows as a sign that you know you're on the right path or that you are approaching pregnancy or that you're approaching whatever it is that you asked about some of you guys may see bunny rabbits some of you guys may see um red roses 
I'm also hearing the spring is significant in some way, whether this is the month that some change happens for you or that's the perfect timing will be in the spring for you. Could be the month that your baby's born as well, okay? Um, but let's see, anything else, Spirit? That's what I'm feeling here, okay, from these two cards. Now, let's see what we have here when it comes to your road to pregnancy message. Okay, Spirit, what is this message here? I feel like, you know, with the Pentacles energy, it's showing me slow energy. So I feel like this is, whatever this is here, this is a long time coming. This is something that you have been awaiting for a long time. Oh my goodness, we have being fun and playful, okay? Being open to new ideas. I love it. So I feel like the answer is a yes because you have been really enjoying your time. You, I'm hearing a spring bunny. So I feel like you have been just being out there, just being open, hopping around, doing the things that bring you joy okay doing the things that make you feel like you okay are getting back to yourself you haven't really be i feel like you haven't really been focused on trying to conceive like you haven't been holding that very tightly like what's interesting i said in the beginning for you to ask the question and you just and just freely asking it without holding on to an outcome that's the very first time i said that too for anybody so i definitely feel like that's relevant and i definitely am seeing here that this is because you have been in this energy you've been kind of free flowing and kind of going with the flow and being open to new ideas here is what we have okay you took some time to heal it says taking time to heal um and you've been excuse me you've been deepening your energetic connection with your with your future baby with your spirit baby or with children you may already have could even be deepening your connection with your partner taking time to heal yourself, taking time to take care of your body, okay, um, and just trying new things, okay, being open to spontaneity, what is the word, spontaneity, just being spontaneous, okay, is what I feel here, not holding on to specific outcomes, and because of that, I'm seeing a double blessing coming your way, whether this is your rainbow baby, or your double rainbow baby, or this is, um, this is a, like, two blessings, a new home, and a a career you know maybe a changing your finances a raising your finances and a new home or maybe a pregnancy and a new home um an engagement and a pregnancy okay but i see there's two beautiful blessings that you have been manifesting that you have been consistently nurturing certain seeds that you've planted in the past and now it's harvest time so i see that now you are preparing to receive this harvest okay and i hear sirens definitely confirmation here that this is harvest time for you okay for a lot of you guys this is surrounding the physical i see this little like dna thing here this is showing me like you got to the root of something you started at the root you built a strong foundation around something um surrounding something and because of that you are now being able to plant seeds right or you were able to plant seeds and now those seeds are um blossoming because you were, have been watering them, you have been tending to them, you have been taking care of whatever it is the responsibility is surrounding um, helping these seeds turn into these beautiful flowers, right? And if this is your, your body, right, you started off with learning more about your body, deepening your connection with your body, um, deepening your connection with your, your fertility, learning more about your fertile times, whatever it may be, and then you started to nurture that, right? You started to really pay attention to what your body was telling you. You started to really care for your body through fitness or through um, eating healthier or through getting enough sleep or through taking certain supplements or medications um, and you are open to new ideas okay um, and because of that it is now bringing you into this prosperous time where all those seeds you planted and all those seeds you've been nurturing are now bringing you the abundance and the answers that you are looking for and what spirit I feel is advising you to do at this time is to continue to be fun continue to be playful and spontaneous okay continue to um, you know connect with your spirit baby through this energetic connection here you may get spirit baby readings or you may have your own oracle or tarot cards that you use to connect with your baby you may do um spirit baby meditations or whatever it may be here but continue to connect or deepen the connection between you and your baby at this time okay because i feel like that is key for you i feel like let me see is there another card yeah i love it i love what we have back on track here um so for some of you guys you may have been feeling like you were off track for a bit 
um, and now you are back on track, okay? Now things are have aligned, has aligned for you, okay? And this is the perfect time. This is the perfect time, goddess. So this is a beautiful way to end, at least for me. You may be going to another pile. Um, if you feel drawn to another card, okay, don't hesitate to go ahead and tap down below for the timestamp. Um, and see what the answer is for you. See if you can put this message together because there are messages in every pile. So this may just be part of your story, part of your message the Spirit has for you right now. Um, and this could be a part of your yes or no answer. So if you feel called to any other card, go ahead and tap the timestamp down below. If not, this is your one and only or your last. Then I thank you for being here and I will see you in my next reading. Bye. Dear Divine, we ask that you launch fertile blessings over each and every goddess listed here, as they are open and receptive to receiving your blessings.